All right, let's see what we got. Uh, it doesn't get much worse than this. A new... Oh, my favorite guy, bro. Jimmy High Roller, bro. My new dude. My new... My, my, my favorite guy, bro. My favorite. James comes up top. Gets it. James on the drive. Gets in the paint. Layup. Missed it. That's... Uh... That's a foul. Here it is again in slow motion. Tie game with three seconds left on the clock. Game on the line. This being the potential game-winning shot. And there is the obvious foul. And there's the no call. And there's LeBron James slipping into a manic episode in utter disbelief of the no call. This split second lapse by the refs cost the Lakers this game. And not you know what? You know what they said that uh, Jason Tatum should have done? I touched the ball before it went out, coach. Come on, Alex. The ref did not call that. You gotta be kidding me, Alex. It's the championship game. Talk to him, coach. I touched it. It's their ball. Come on, do it right. Don't foul them when they inbound. Team on three. One, two, three. <laughs> How's it going, Alex? Sorry, coach. Alex. Alex. Good call. Sportsmanship. Pass it on. Ref. Bro, if you ever do that, bro, if you ever do that, be prepared to get punched in the face, bro. You're getting punched in the mouth, bro. You're getting punched. You're getting the shit out of you, bro. Only was the foul clear as day. The baseline ref was looking right at it. This is egregious, but missed calls and even bad calls for that matter are nothing new to the NBA. In fact, NBA refs have... What are your rage tweeting me? Uh, Katie is the last man sitting. I said Katie left a dynasty for this. Dynasty that gave you clinical depression, so be happy he spared you from more sorrow. I think people misunderstood my tweet. I'm not saying that... Like, if Katie... St First of all, Katie's a bitch for going to the Warriors. I'm, ju I'm actually on Katie's side here. Like, this is fucked up. Katie really left the dynasty for this. I thought when he left and went to Brooklyn, I thought the Nets were going to be a good team with him and Kyrie. Um, and then when they got Harden, I mean, you saw my tweet when I said the NBA we know is, is, or we love is ruined. The game we love is ruined. When they were getting all kinds of other players with them and shit like that. So people, like multiple people responded like this. I'm not like, look, look, look. You wanted him to stay, question mark. No. Like, I never said that. You cried nonstop. Yeah, I did. Because that was fucking bullshit. How do people forget so quickly, bro? That was fucking bullshit. KD joined the 73 and 9 Warriors. Are you serious? Bro. Listen, all that this is, anyone who's replying that, and your rage, your rage, first of all, your rage is a LeBron hater, bro. He hates LeBron. He was, he was mocking, he was mocking LeBron, mocking Lakers fans. That's it. That's fine, dude. Uh, people, people don't like LeBron. That's fine. I don't care, dude. But don't sit here and act like what KD did wasn't some fucking pussy shit, bro. Always been spotty. This was bad, but it's nowhere near as bad as some missed calls we've seen before. Today's video is brought to you by SeatGeek. God a new damn it! They have the six three. They have the six free throws the next half. Did you guys just see that? This is Vince Carter, former NBA great. This is Mo Peterson. He would go on to have 81 points put right on his head two weeks after this game. And in the middle of a live broadcast, in front of 17,000 people, Vince Carter slapped Mo Pete. It wasn't hard or anything. In fact, Vince and Mo were former teammates. They were just messing around. But the ref didn't see Vince do this. What they did see, however, 
was this. And as a result of this innocent, playful act, Mo Peterson was immediately thrown out of this ball game. They have missed six free throws. The Damn! Next and I mean, this is Taylor May right now. And now what do we have? Is Peterson, what do we have? He just got tossed. Yes, he did. He would not stop talking to Steve Jarvie. And Mo is taking off his jersey. He's Oh, they were just fooling around there. Wow. Yep. I mean, this ref didn't even hesitate. Hey, that's high, high IQ from Vince Carter. All-time great. That is high IQ, bro. And as any player would be, Mo was pissed. And if that wasn't insulting enough, Mo had to watch from the locker room as Vince Carter went on to hit the game-winning buzzer beater later on that same game. Nice. This call was absolutely appalling. One of the worst no calls turned into a tragically bad call in a matter of seconds. But this is just one of many many bad no calls we've seen in recent nba history the no call is truly one of the most frustrating things to witness as a sports fan if you ever want to see a grown adult spiral into an incoherent rage in absolutely no time at all just watch him as his favorite team gets stiffed out of a call by a ref it can be frustrating because we all see it the players see it and yet the guy whose job it is to see it can't like the no call on Devin Booker in game four of the 2021 NBA Finals. Clearly a hard foul and a foul that could have changed the trajectory of this series being that it would have been Booker's sixth and final foul of the game, but it was never called. Or this notorious play back in 2019 when the Rockets were facing the Warriors. Game is all tied up, hardly any time left on the clock. The Rockets played great defense and stripped Kevin Durant of the ball. KD was the last person to touch it, and it's going out of bounds. This could be what the Rockets need to turn this game in their favor. And then KD runs a half marathon on the baseline, passes the ball in bounds. The refs conjure up the audacity to ignore the 72 steps he just took out of bounds. And then the ball gets swung around to Curry, who hits the dagger. Out. Out. Absolutely he's out. out. Wow. How in the world do you I mean, miss that? how do you miss that? That... <laughs> <laughs> this really sucks and for decades NBA fans around the globe have had to sit idly by as their favorite team gets railed by NBA refs time and time again. It's a story as old as time itself. Like this play back in 2013 where Kevin Love attempts to put up a potentially game winning shot but clearly gets fouled by Sean Marion and doesn't get the call. And it's not like the refs just didn't see it they're both looking right at it in real time and correct me if i'm wrong but i don't think your arm does this when you're shooting a jump shot unless why do refs not want to call shit at the at the buzzer like what are they scared of they don't like does the mb does the nba say like hey we don't want the game to to, to uh that we don't want a team to win it uh on the free throw line like is that like a thing like what is it why like people get fouled at the end more than any other time because that's when people play the most intense defense so i i i i don't i don't get it bro i don't get it of course you i don't understand foul, this shit. but the call was missed and the timberwolves lost this game or what about that time in 2017 with an ascending Giannis antetokounmpo and a game-winning dunk that should have never even happened Seven seconds remaining in regulation and the kumpo checked by houston he'll drive his scores did you see it Here's another angle of it. Right there. Giannis stepped out of bounds on this drive, and the refs never called it. And I don't know how, because the ref is looking right at it. This guy noticed the out of bounds right away. So did this guy. And so did she. And so did this guy standing 30 feet away. But somehow, this ref did not. But not to worry, my friends. It gets worse. Like back in 2002, when the Hornets faced off against the Magic in the first round of the playoffs. The game is all tied up with only 0.7 seconds left on the clock. The Hornets are inbounding the ball and they're going to need a miracle to pull off a win here without going into overtime. Davis at the buzzer. And that's exactly what happened. A 27 foot dagger from Baron Davis over two defenders to win the game and take a 2-1 lead in the series. Well, not really because according to this ref baron davis didn't get the shot off in time davis at the buzzer no yes no it's waved off what says, no, it will not count. replay immediately oh, it was so my close. goodness i mean 
I'm pretty sure he did, but I could be wrong. So let's take another look at this. Uh, yeah. Unless I don't know how a shot clock works, I'm about 1000% positive he got that shot off in time. In fact, the call was so bad that bro actually baffled himself. He is perplexed, doesn't even know why he made the call in the first place. And so he seeks counsel with one of the other refs and is met with absolutely no support at all. This is one of the most horrendous calls from a ref I've ever seen. And Dude, what the fuck? Why can't the NBA just, if it's, I thought there was a rule. If it's under two minutes, they review it. If it's a bang bang call. I thought that was a rule. When the fuck did they get rid of this rule, dude? Why did they get rid of it? Dude, and I remember a horrible play versus LeBron against the Warriors in the finals. And they like took back like a basket or some weird thing. Or they reviewed like a charge call or like a blocking foul. And I, dude, some weird shit, bro. And what would have been just the 21st game winning buzzer beater in NBA playoff history never even counted. But to find a real doozy of a call, a real head scratcher that'll really get your blood boiling, we have to go back to June 6, 2005 to witness one of the most blatant abuse of a whistle I think I've ever seen in my life. It's the playoffs. The Pistons are facing the Heat in a crucial Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Finals. Winner goes to the NBA Finals, loser goes home. This game was neck and neck the entire way. Eight lead changes in the second half alone. And after 47 minutes of action, the Pistons creep out to a three-point lead. At this point, every single decision is critical. Just one mistake could earn you a one-way ticket back home for four months. With 46 seconds left in the fourth quarter, the Pistons gain possession after a jump ball. They run a play for Tayshawn Prince on the wing who blows right past Shaq, but gets stripped in the process. Miami's going the other way. If they can capitalize on this steal, this could be a season-altering mistake by the Pistons. Damon Jones is leaking and he's got an opportunity at a fast break. Eddie Jones kicks it up to Damon. This is Miami's window to close the lead to just one point, but it's a bad pass. Eddie put just a little too much on the ball, so now Damon is chasing. He manages to snag the ball before it goes out, but now he's trapped on the sideline with nowhere to go. One of the best perimeter defenders in the game wearing him like a cheap suit and 17 seconds left on the clock. Miami's opportunity may have just came and went in the blink of an eye. But do you see this ref right here? This is Joey Crawford. Joey was an NBA official for 40 years, and throughout his 40-year refing career, he made some pretty questionable calls. Like that time he threw Tim Duncan out of a game for laughing. Or when he gave Sasha Pavlovich a technical foul for getting elbowed in the face. Or what about the time he ejected Don Nelson 90 seconds into a game? Here he is getting in the way of JJ Redick in the middle of a fast break, falling down, and then calling a shooting foul while on his ass looking in the opposite direction. Joey had his moments, and you're about to see the worst one. Because after Damon Jones chases down this pass, this happens. Jones able to race it down. And contact made. Unaware of the six foot three inch, 200 pound. Oh my God, bro. Oh my fucking God, dude grown man standing 10 feet in front of him, Joey Crawford absolutely obliterates Damon Jones and sends him out of bounds. And because something like this never happens, there's no real protocol here. Do you just give the ball to the Heat and let them inbound it? Do you reset the shot clock? Is it a jump ball? No, it's a foul on Chauncey Billups. Let's sit down. Gonna go to the line here for two free throws. Let's take a look. The outlet pass a little bit too far ahead of Jones. He does a nice job of recovering and a little bump. Did he like? I think he might have pushed him a little bit. I think I think Chauncey Bills pushed him a little bit, and then he was a little off balance, and then Joey Crawford completely like. I think he did. A foul on Billups and Damon Jones. Billups is in shock. He can't believe the call, and rightfully so. The man played incredible defense and stopped a potentially game-altering fast break that could have ended their season. Well, right there, like he's making contact with him. And was rewarded with a foul call for something he didn't even do. The fact that no one even batted an eye at this call and it wasn't overturned is baffling. 
This foul call was horrific, and it nearly cost the Pistons a trip to the NBA Finals. But fortunately for the Pistons and Joey Crawford's pristine reputation, Detroit still went on to win this game. But that doesn't change the fact that out of the countless bad calls and no calls throughout NBA history, this one might just be the worst. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always, until next time. Well, since he didn't offer any solution, he just showed bad calls. I'll offer a solution, okay? You need to, when you get, when you have a uh, challenge, okay? You should have one that if your challenge is successful, you keep your challenge, okay? And then also, if there's two minutes left in the game, anything that's debatable needs to be reviewed. That's it. Then we won't, then the refs won't have to, uh, be, you know, the refs won't have to, um, get every call right and be perfect. Cause listen, they're not perfect. They're humans. Um, so they're not going to be perfect. I think that's how they should do it, bro. Or you have a challenge in the first half and the second half. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. But again, the NBA probably wants this game to be quick. So, but like, that's not an excuse to get calls blatantly wrong, bro. You know, like NBA fans will watch games if it's a little longer to get the call right, bro. They're not going to be like, oh, dude, this is taking too long. Fuck this. No, they would rather the, the call be correct than save them a couple minutes of time, you know. But again, everyone has ADHD. So, I don't know. Anyway. Hmm. Anyway. 